Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you a very specific tool to make sure that we guys have better performance here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. It's overall going to help you to keep more stable FPS guys so therefore I would definitely recommend you to keep watching and if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would upload so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys and what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find our website guys and the current FPS boost tag which we're going to be utilizing is going to be here on the top left side. Obviously still haven't made the thumbnail so therefore it's going to be here on the top left. Same name and same thumbnail as the video you're right now watching. And then you're just simply going to click onto it, maybe get like a small pop-up ad and afterwards you get redirected to this side, you know. Or you just simply scroll down and click here on this download button until you get redirected to Google Drive from where you can get the current FPS boost pack. So we're going to click onto it, probably got yet yeah, another ad and then we're already here in Google Drive where we can download it from there guys. As mentioned, only Google Drive. And once we get it, we you have here like this new easy FPS boost pack which we're gonna actually now extract here onto our desktop guys afterwards you should have here this processor lasso setup exit guys so therefore you just simply gonna go through it um, select English you know agree go through the, like the whole installation process which I'm of course not going to do now guys because I already have this program here on my PC and what I'm now going to do is actually launch it and what this program pretty much allows us is to enable like sort of like a performance mode while gaming guys so therefore this is super insane what we're going to do is click actually onto main guys and then we can see right now here that we have pro balance smart trim idle saver and performance mode and what we're going to do in the first place guys is make sure that performance mode is enabled here guys so then afterwards guys you can see active power profiles that i'm right now here on the bits and highest performance one if you don't know how to enable the bits and highest performance power mode i'm going to link you a tutorial to that in the description guys but yeah just select like the highest one which is available on your pc um, either you're gonna have like the ultimate performance one or the bits and highest one which as mentioned I'm going to leave like a tutorial to in the description and then afterwards once we're done with that guys what we're now going to do is actually launch our Fortnite in the background because for this next step we gotta have Fortnite actually running in the background to make some more changes here. So guys and now that we get Fortnite actually running in the background we can go here into this window you know and just simply scroll down a little bit until we find the Fortnite Windows 64 shipping exit and this is exactly one which we want to focus on right now guys and what we gonna do is right click onto it and you can see that we have tons of options first of all we have CPU priority guys which I get here actually right now on normal for some people it actually makes also a difference to put it on high you gotta try it out for yourself but what you definitely gotta do is go on your CPU affinity go on current and make sure that all of your cores and threads are enabled for Fortnite guys you know like just to make sure that all 16 are selected you know for you it might be like 4 8 16 it literally doesn't matter guys depending on your CPU for me I have here Ryzen 7 5800 x so therefore i've got 16 threads in total um, which means that i have cpu 0 to 15 you know 16 cores boys so everyone is everything so therefore everything is here selected and exactly as it should be and what we're now going to do is actually click here onto induce performance mode guys this is also super important that you actually enable it here for fortnite and this program will sort of like put like a performance mode on your game just to make sure that Fortnite is like running better and you actually get max FPS while gaming. And you can see success. This process has now been reclassified and processor lasso will behave accordingly. What we're gonna do now is click here onto OK. And we already fully enabled performance mode here in our Fortnite guys. And yeah, for the rest, you're just gonna leave it exactly as I got it here, guys, you know. Just make sure to set your CPU affinity as well to 16 or like the maximum your PC can offer and enable the performance mode. And with that said, we're pretty much already chilling here with this program and we can actually close it and try it out yourself while playing creative, arena, whatsoever and see the difference, guys. It's definitely gonna make like a huge impact and I personally also utilize this program while gaming or I was when my PC was a little bit weaker and I can only recommend it. That shit too light Big four and hoe come get inside Dami Gucci Lee come take a die Kill that shit but this don't kill the vibe Yeah 